Hey guys, I just wanted to hit you with a food for thought. Um, this is for me mainly, but hey, since we're all one big happy family, I'm sharing. <sighs> okay, so a new year's coming up. You know how we all do the resolution thing and the whole I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And then by February 2nd, we stop doing whatever it is that we started to do when we halfway did it. Well, um, I'm not doing that this year. I'm just proclaiming it. I'm not real bad when it comes to resolutions, but what I do is I write them down, and I notice that a lot of them are the same from the years past. <laughs> I got issues. For real, for real. So, one of the things that I'm doing this year that I'm going to stick with is um, I am working on purchasing my own home. And it's a blessing to own a piece of land as well as your own home. I know that. And I'm going to work towards it. But one of the things that I have to do to do that is control my spending. Now, I am a thrifty spender anyway. So in my mind, I have to redirect my mind. In my mind, I have to um, tell myself, Michi, just because you buy things for $3 doesn't mean that you need to buy them. You know what I'm saying? My whole, um, like I would qualify it with, well, it only costs 6 bucks or it only costs 3 bucks. I am the thriftiest chick you will meet. I'm not even kidding with you. I do not buy shirts for $20. I refuse to buy a shirt for $20. Heck, a $10 shirt is a lot for me. For real, for real. Jeans, are you kidding me? I, my most expensive pair of jeans I own are a pair of seven jeans. I got them for $19.99 at Ross. And they were $19.99 at Ross. And it killed me to buy them. But I don't buy jeans for $19.99. My jeans are at Ross usually $12.99. Um... I have a few Nine West jeans, but I got them at Ross. And I just buy discount stores. My shoes. Now, don't get it twisted. There are some things that you have to buy that are really, really, really high quality. And um, shoes are important to me. But I still don't pay a lot of money for my shoes either. Now, tennis shoes, you have no choice. But I take care of them. And I don't buy them a lot. There are certain things that I like to rock, like Tim's. I like the Royal Timberlands. But I haven't bought any new ones in a while. Uh, I like Nike tennis shoes, Puma. They're cute. But like boots and stuff, like if I'm going to buy a boot, I want a leather boot, you know? And you might pay a little bit of cheese for that, but it balances out because you haven't been spending anything all year long anyway. And then all the stores I shop at, I stop, I go straight to the clearance rack. It's like I have, it's in me to shop like that. Do you know what I'm saying? My mom is a bargain shopper, although she really doesn't care about what she buys. I think she just likes finding stuff. I, on the other hand, like to find inexpensive stuff because it pleases me. I'm like, yay, look what I found. Um gosh so anyway long story short i'm gonna be on a budget <laughs> just saying is making me go huh because this is what happens i get paid and i buy whatever i want it might be cheap but i buy lots of them see see that's what the thing is i'm not monitoring what i buy uh and then i look up and it's four and five hundred dollars in a day and i do pay bills don't get it twisted i pay bills but it's like man if i stop buying certain things then that's money that could go towards my home and one thing that I do to relieve stress is if I have a stressful day at work, I drive right to this shopping center in my area. It's got everything you need. You can go to Barnes & Nobles. You can go to um, Ross. You can go to Marshalls. You can go to uh, TJ Maxx. You can go to Target. You can go get some food at Jason's Deli. Uh, I mean, everything that I need is right there. And it's like, Husa, I had a bad day. Let's go buy something. But what I buy is like a $10 shirt maybe or $7.99 or a pair of jeans for 12 bucks or a pair of shoes, you know? And to me, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But if you do that five days a week, I'm lying. If you do that seven days a week, because I usually go out every day, unless it's cold or raining or something, then it becomes a problem. So I'm confessing, Michi loves to shop. Woohoo! If you guys saw my closet, you'd be like, what in the world? I have so many clothes, but I'll tell you this, I recycle my clothes. Even the ones I don't wear, I either give them to Goodwill or I give them to somebody so that you know, they're not just sitting there. I figure if I haven't worn it in three years, I don't need it. And a lot of them have tags on them. But why did I buy it in the first place if I'm not going to wear it? And I have this system. When I wear, like, a shirt or something, I have a the walk-in closet, which is not enough space, by the way. Um, <laughs> that's why I need a house. Um, I take that shirt, and I push it all the way to the back of the closet to rotate it out. Sometimes it never even comes back around. So I need to stop. Forever 21, Charlotte Ruse, um, heck, I don't even shop at Macy's, um, Ross, you guys are going to be seeing a little less of me, because I'm trying to prepare my mind for the new year. Tomorrow is the 1st of December, and 
December 1, I'm sorry, November 1. Dang, see, I can't even get it right. January 1, that's it. I have to renew my mind. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I'm starting now. Okay, so I'm lying. That's whatever. Um, I'm on my way right now to go return something at Ross that I bought. I bought some boots that I don't want because I bought some other boots to replace them and a pair of jeans that I didn't really like the way they fit. And then I have some stuff I need to take back to Mac because I'm going to swipe it out. But after that, I'm done. No, for real, for real. I'm going to do Christmas shopping. And okay, I have to wean myself. Oh, another thing is I like to go out to eat a lot. I cook Monday through Thursday. So I like to go out to eat. <sighs> wow. Y'all pray for me. Can anybody relate? Can you relate? I got to save money, especially in this economy that we're in right now. Jobs aren't guaranteed. I thank God that he's my provider <laughs> and he gives everything to me. I thank him for that. But you just have to be wise. I was reading about wisdom today um, in the Bible. I was reading... Ooh, Proverbs 134 or 137, I can't remember, but it was just talking about wisdom and how to get wisdom and the beginning of wisdom is um, fearing the Lord and why wisdom calls your name and it does call you, she does call you, you just have to listen and adhere to what she says and how God um, doesn't like like a foolish or a prideful person, so I gotta learn, you gotta learn, and the Bible says that a wise person takes, not so much criticism, but takes um, instruction well, so I know that this is a good thing. It might not feel good, but it's going to be a good thing. I'm going to give myself a budget, and I'm going to try my darndest to stick to it. And I'm going to have to pray. Y'all pray for me, okay? Y'all have a good one. That's it. I'm finished babbling. I'm on my way to go back to stores that I shouldn't be at, that I'm going to say goodbye to. Farewell. <sighs> but the house will be worth it. All right, bye.